There we go. Oh, come on. Cage, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm on fire as I eat the meat. That's hilarious. What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for The Forest. Oh my freaking god. I think my last forest video was almost a year ago. I think I remember seeing April of last year. It has been way too long. I have not played the full release yet. Um, I don't know what I've been waiting so long for, but here we are in the forest. I'm freaking hyped. Uh, let's get started, man. I'm so freaking excited. Single player, new game. Uh, oh, look at this. We got normal. Uh, recommended game mode hard is for stronger enemies than hard survival gets even tougher and then peaceful no enemies in the world we're gonna go with normal um by no means an expert in this game even when i was like um playing it a lot i was never an expert in this game uh but i do really like the game and i'm somewhat knowledgeable about it, it should be pretty fun although a lot of things have changed since the last time i played i'm sure so all right here we are we're on a plane oh we got little timmy here what's up timmy where's your mommy timmy Oh, look, there's actually people on the plane now. I see another person over there. Huh. All right, what do we got? We got, it looks like maggots and um, spoiled meat for dinner. Uh, what do we got here? We got some kind of book. What are you doing with this for Timmy? Oh, wow, his name's really Timmy, dude. Oh, my God. I was kidding. <laughs> I always used to call him Timmy, and I did not... Got some turbulence. I always called him Timmy, and I don't really know why. I guess I found out that his name was Timmy in game, and I just forgot. I was just calling him Timmy because it's just some generic kid's name. <laughs> oh, sit back, Timmy. Where's he? Does he have a seatbelt on? He doesn't look like he has a seatbelt on. Oh my goodness, we're going down, Timmy. We're going down, Timmy. We're gonna die. We're gonna die, Timmy. It's all over. It's all over. We're gonna see your mom soon. Hold on, honey. I'm coming, coming. I'm just assuming the mother's dead. I don't know. Maybe they got divorced. <laughs> I got a pretty sick sense of humor here. Whoa, what is this? What's going? What's going on? I, I lived through this thing, man. This is like some lost crap here, man. Oh my! What's happened to my fingers? My fingers got cut off on my right hand. Look at that. Oh no, they're there. They're just kind of in the carpet. Oh my god! I'm losing consciousness. God knows. I hit my head. Um. Okay. All right. Now, th what the hell is going on here? Okay. Every time the plane crashed before I, when I used to play, you saw the guy come in here and take the kid, right? Now I don't see him come in and take the kid. Why would they cut that out? That was cool. <laughs> I like that. All right. Let's grab some booze. I'm going to need some booze after this. What is this? The flight manifest? Okay. We're going to take that. We'll go ahead and chow down some of that maggot food. All right. Let's come on. Let's take everything we can in here because we, this is a survival game, guys. For, the, and it, for those of you who might not know what The Forest is all about, it is a survival game um, without zombies. <laughs> all right? The uh, enemy in this game is going to be... You know what? Maybe I won't mention it. I'll probably forget and mention it anyway, but I'm going to not mention it now. We'll see. Oh, my God. She had an axe in her. You're not going to need this anymore, lady. All right. So that's good. Okay. Where are we? All right, I kind of know the map a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and open some luggage, see what we can scrounge here. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got some luggage. We got this pink suitcase. All right. Um, that's not a, that's not luggage cage. This is luggage. Come on, hit the luggage. Yeah, we're going to have some kind of enemies in this game. And they um, there's certain enemies in certain games that I just absolutely hate. Uh, the Screamers in Seven Days to Die is one of them. And I don't mean hate, like, as in they're badly designed. I think they're actually really... Well, duct tape. Ooh. All right, so this is all the stuff I got. Where'd that duct tape go? Oh, there it is. Okay. That's new to me. I think there's going to be a lot in this game I don't know about. I think I'm going to be playing like a noob again. Uh, guys, I'm going to say right off the bat, if you have any tips for me whatsoever, please leave them in the comments. I could really need them. Um, and by the way, leave those thumbs up and let me know how happy you are to see this series back. Because, um, man, like a lot of people like watching me play this game. I... The reason I thought about this game was because I still get comments on my forest videos from like years ago. Okay. Um, one of my highest viewed videos ever on this channel, I think it's number two, was a forest video. So I was like, you know what? I missed the forest. I haven't played it in a while. Let's get back to it. All right. So let's take a look at where we are. Oh, I know exactly where we are. Okay. There's the boat. We could probably go out and save in the boat right now. You could swim out to that boat. Uh, the problem is if you do, um, there's sharks out there, but... Um, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take these out. There's a lot of good stuff on that boat. We can also save on the boat. You need a place to sleep to save, and there is a place to sleep on the boat. So I know exactly where I am. This is great. I'm going to build down that way. Um, if you go down that way, there's going to be cliffs, and I'm going to build on the side of one of those cliffs. All right, so we've got some dead sharks here for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what would be killing sharks here, but I don't know. Maybe the water is no good. One time I built on this. Actually, the last time I played this game, I built on the boat. All right, so we're going to come out here and hopefully... Oh, we need that turtle. Oh, can I get him underwater? I can't. i got to wait until he gets out of the water. All right. Let's get up here. Come on. Swim up, man. All right, I just got to be very careful I don't get attacked by any sharks. If you look on the bottom right-hand side, that's going to be all my stats, right? The um the red stat is my hip. Here, let me re relax a little bit. Actually, let's let's press B and bring up our book while we have a sh while we have a chance here. And we're gonna go to this tab right here. This is going to be um wait where is it? There it is. Stats. Okay. Um we got hydration, health, energy, stamina. Um the the red is the health. The blue is the hydration. The little you know. That, that's not a little stomach. Actually, that's a pretty big stomach. Um, yeah, that's the uh, food. And then the other ones are thirst. The, the light blue, I think, is thirst. And no, the light blue is stamina. And the dark blue is thirst. Okay. So let's check out this boat. Okay, so we got some uh, shirts in here. Or some cloth. Or whatever. What is this? What the hell is that? Oh, I don't know. And look, there's a corpse here. What the, what's going on? What's going on in this place, man? This is one of those... Um, Oh, we have a skull. That's going to come in handy. we got some other things here. Some duct tape, some booze. Another picture. It's a picture of the... Oh, it's a picture of a teddy bear. Okay, interesting. Um, someone didn't do their dishes before they disappeared. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that's some kid. That's some kid that's missing. How about that? All right, well, there you go. Kids that's missing. Well, there's the bear. I'm going to go ahead and pick that stuff up. I have no need for the Bible. Um, okay, so that's a tape and a tape player. You could uh, actually play the, play that tape and it's music. I'm not going to mess with it though because I'm pretty sure it's going to get me hit with uh, match third party content. Uh, in here, if you could go to sleep, but you see right there, um, you can only sleep every so often. Or maybe you can only sleep at night. I'm not really sure. But I can't sleep because it's not, it's not ready yet. But what we can do is hold down save and check it out. 12-10-2016. Wow. Wow. I thought it was April I put up a video. Um, 131, uh, two, well, whatever. Let's just save over this one. There we go. Okay. And that is wonderful. Oh, boy, it's raining out. I don't know if rain really hurts you or anything. I don't know if you get cold. Or, you know, you could get sick for all I know. Get, like, the sniffles or something. And then get sick. I don't really know. All right, guys, the game crashed. Um, but thank God I just saved. So what we need to do is we need to find a turtle. Oh, here we go. We're going to kill a turtle because turtles, you can take their shells and their, you need their shells to, uh, oh, there we go. You need their shells to make a uh, water catch, which I'll probably make. Per should I should I stay in this area or should I go to where I want to build? I think you can only hold one shell, by the way. There's the turtle shell. You can also use the, oh, he's, damn, I put him out of his misery. Damn, bro. There you go. Can we take the other shell? I don't know. You used to be able to only take one shell. Nope, you can only take one shell. You can also use the shell for shields. You can use the shell for shields. Anyway, now I'm going to actually go to where I want to build, so let's get going. So this is one of those uh, survival horror games. Um, a lot of people ask me to play survival horror games, but I don't really like horror games. But this is a survival horror game that's like real survival. It's not like, you know, um, one of those games where you're creeping around a mansion and you got to try and stay alive. It's a, it's a true survival game. It's like, imagine... Imagine mixing, like, a really scary game with, like, Seven Days to Die. Um, that's that's kind of what this game's like. Um, it is survival. It's fun survival. It's good survival. The the building mechanics have a little bit of... I have a little bit of issues with the building mechanics, but I could get over that um, because I really miss this game, and I really like it quite a bit. So, like I said, we're going to build on these cliffs. Um, there is a cannibal camp up this way. And I kind of want to build near the cannibal camp because it'll be pretty fun to be fighting them over and over. I have some ideas on some walls I want to build. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to build on the inside of my my base, but I do have some ideas. Man, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous now. This game will freak me out, guys. If you like wonder, like I, you never see me scared or anything. Well, <laughs> get ready to see me scared. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually uh, combine. Um, this rag with the axe and that's gonna uh wrap the wrap the axe in the 
Yeah, that's gonna wrap the axe in the cloth. And now I can light my axe on fire for maximum damage. It'll be awesome, so. All right, so I need to find that cannibal camp, I think, first thing. So let me kind of look around here and see if I can find it. I think it's over there. Now we gotta be careful. The, the nice thing about the cannibal camp is uh, it has some really uh, nice items for you to loot and it restocks quite often. Um, so it's really going to be something we're going to want to uh, build somewhat close to. I usually build pretty close to it. Um, I think it's. I think we're coming up to it. I think it's over here. Um, I haven't played in a while, so I might. I might be wrong. I might get turned around a little bit. I'm not really sure. We got to find this cannibal camp. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I literally ran ahead for like two minutes, and then I I ran into it. It's right here. So this is the cannibal camp. There's a lot of nice stuff I need in there. I'm not going to mess with it yet, though. I'd rather set up my base, and I think my base is going to be right here. Uh, I think this will probably be a good spot for a base. And it's going to be a big base. It's going to be a really, really big base. Uh, what do we do right here? Or do we want to do it down here? Nah. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Cannibals. Cannibals. Hold on, buddy. Take it easy. Let's be friends. Let's talk about this. Oh, my God. Okay, this isn't good. All right. All right, all right. It doesn't sound like they want to talk. There we go. There we go. Light him on fire. That I don't know if that kills him outright anymore, but it, it used to. It used to kill him outright, and I think it still damages him quite a bit. So we're going to do that. All right, are you dead? It killed one of them. Come on. Get my stamina back while I'm blocking. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. Come on, you gotta be almost dead. There you go. Alright, you. Man, you are not looking good, dude. Not that you look good before, but... Alright, I don't know if he's dead yet. Nope, he's dead now. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we need to make a little bit of something over here just to kind of save the game. Um, because I didn't think we'd be under assault so quickly. And I'm not really sure where I want to build yet. So let's see what we can build really quickly to save the game. Okay, let's look through uh, all our things. So there's all the fires. You can make all kinds of fires. Um, there's some shelters. This is a temporary shelter. We want to make the hunting shelter because that will be something that will stay there. You can also make a log cabin, a small cabin, rabbit cages, water collectors, gardens, drying rack, stick holders, log sled, log holders, rock holders, weapon rack, small cabinets, explosive holders, large cabinets, skin skin rack, uh, bone basket, uh, arrow basket, armor rack, foundations, custom floors, custom roof, custom everything, um, pathways, stick fences, bone fences, tree house, tree platforms, tree web, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. It goes, whoa, this is new for me anyway. That's interesting. So a zip line, tree zip line, and a crane. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, oh, you can actually do a fireplace now. That's cool. All right. I'm getting sidetracked. All right. Let's go ahead and make our uh, hunting shelter. And we'll just kind of do that over here a little bit out of the way. There we go. And now we just have to find the items for it. We had some sticks and some rocks. We just need more sticks and rocks. And this is where you get a lot of sticks from these uh, trees right here. And obviously to get the to get the logs, you want to cut down these big trees. Um, put your lighter away when you're cutting down the big trees because then you use two hands. You know, and that helps you cut down better. Um, I want the tree to fall this way so I don't, uh, so I don't lose it down the... Uh, so it doesn't fall off the cliff. And I'm going to need seven logs, so I'm probably going to have to cut down two trees. All right, so let's uh, let's wait for our stamina to come back a little bit. If you use up all your stamina, you're just, like, gimped. So, all right, there we go. We got the tree. Okay. All right, freaking cannibals, man. Oh, my God, I hate those guys. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so you can only pick up two logs at a time. So we bring the log. Oh, look at the birds eating the cannibals. And there is things we can do with the cannibal bodies, guys. Um, so we'll get into that later. Uh, what you have when you cut down a tree is you have the, um, the stumps. If you leave the stumps there, the trees, uh, will grow back. So, you know, um, I'll probably, I'll take out a bunch of the stumps where I'm like going to be building, but like I'll leave trees like anytime. Like basically if the, if the stump's not in the way, I will not be cutting it out. All right. So we need to find some more stone. There we go. There's stone all over the place. You can only hold up to like five stone and like 10 sticks, but you can get like bags that'll help you hold more. Um, I actually have all the recipes from when I played like a year ago, but I don't know if they're current. So like you can make a weak spear with two sticks. You can make an upgrade spear with a spear, two cloth and three bones, all kinds of like recipes there. Although I don't know 
if they are, you know, current because things change. Um, so we'll cut down one more tree and let's see if we can get this uh, shelter built so I can save the game. All right, guys, I crashed again. Um, basically what happened was I came back and I finished this... Uh, I finished this shelter, and I went to save the game, and then it crashed. I think OBS has a problem. OBS crashed this time, not the game. So I think OBS has a problem saving the game when in full screen. So I think what I'm going to do from now on is when I save, I'll pause the video and uh, go from full screen to, like, you know, windowed mode and save the game. Um, I think I remember something like that in the past. Anyway, guys, we have to now worry about food and drink. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and make a drying rack. All right. And R is to rotate. Uh, where I put this? Um, mm, let me see. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine right there. All right, so we're just gonna need five sticks for that. That's great. And then we are also going to make a water collector. Freaking birds are scaring the crap out of me. And we'll put the water collector back here. Let's find a spot for it. And uh, let's go get some sticks, man. And then we, uh, what we're gonna do is I have food on me right here. And uh, this stuff will go bad, right? Oh, it actually tells you how many calories it gives. That's cool. But anyway, food will go bad, okay? So you want to get on the drying rack. Um, drying rack, uh, well, it dries out the food. And when it dries out the food, um, it'll make it so it doesn't go bad. Like, at all. So you can also cook food on a fire. Come on, man. You can also cook food on a fire. Uh, but the drying rack is better because eventually the food on the fire will go, you know, cooked food will go bad as well. Dry, dry food off a drying rack, um, does not go bad. All right. So that's to catch some water when it rains and let's come on over here and press C and C and C and C. There we go. Is that all the food? Yep. That is all the food. Looking good. Looking good. Should we cut up these corpses? Um, yes, we should. No, we shouldn't. Actually, we can. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to get the bones and you want to make bone armor. So in order to get the bones, you're going to need a fire. Okay? So let's go ahead and make a fire pit. And we'll put that right here. It's a good spot for it. There we go. And we just need some feathers and some sticks and some stones. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut up those bodies. We're going to get the bones. Uh, we're going to get the bodies. We're going to throw them on the fire. And then after a while, they'll kind of explode. And then we can pick up all their bones and we can make bone armor. Bone armor is what you want. It will help you survive. Um, there's some things with the cannibals where if they see you wearing bone armor, they'll think you're like, you know, um, ready for a fight, like you're um, more adversarial than whatever. But I, from what I noticed, the um, cannibals always attack, so I don't really care. You know what? They should think I'm adversarial because I'm here to kill them all. Um, you know, Timmy and stuff. So I'm going to kill every single one of them. So they're right to think I'm adversarial. All right, so there we go. And then we just hold down the E button to light that up. There we go. And then we're going to grab a corpse. You can also make effigies, which is really cool. Um, you, you basically effigies. Look at the leg. Oh, my God. Effigies are basically like you cut up the corpse, like um, like take its limbs off and stuff, its head, and then you put them on sticks and light it on fire. And that's supposed to scare the cannibals, but I, I don't really see it scaring the cannibals that much. I'll, I'll mess around with it at some point. But um, can we put on multiple bodies? I think we can. There we go. And other than, the, other than the campfire, I think we're going to keep the fire to a minimum. Because I don't want to attract any attention just yet. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I just saved the game. And um, as long as OBS is not recording, it seems to be okay. Um, nothing crashed. OBS didn't crash, the game didn't crash, so everything's looking pretty good now. Alright, so that's looking fine. The next thing we're going to want to make is going to be a log sled. Um, oh, here we go, the bodies are exploding. Let's just go ahead and pick up all those bones. Okay, there we go. And um, let's see some bone armor. So I forgot to make bone armor, though. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And a few of these, right? There we go. We got some bone armor. Put that right on. And now um, in multiplayer, you can see the bone armor a lot better because you can see it on your friends. Um, but it's cool, man. It's like, it's real bone armor. It's like you look like you have bones covering your forearms and you have like a skull on your face. It's really, really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm actually going to make a bone... Um, I think I'm going to make a bone uh, basket as well so I can store bones as I need to. Um, I probably will. Oh, God, don't walk in the fire, guys. Ugh, stupid. Stupid. I guess I could jump in the water. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to I'm gonna sit here and take the damage and learn my lesson. All right, if you look at my health bar where those little two white things are, that's my bone armor. All right, there we go. thought I crashed again. Um, let's see how we're looking good. We got Yeah, we got enough for another one. One, two, three, there we go. 
There we go. Three sets of bone armor. Awesome. Alright, can we pass the night? Uh, almost. Almost. I think in the daytime, I'm going to like scout out the area and kind of see where I want to build. Basically, my plan is I'm going to build a wall from the edge of the cliff all the way over there and then back over to the edge of the cliff. I got to see where I want to build it, though. It's not necessarily going to be in this area. Um, I got I to gotta look around a little bit. Man, this game is super scary during the night. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can sleep through the night now. All right, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't crash me. But it very well might. Um, I don't seem to be crashed just yet. All right, that looks good. Um, everything's running. Okay, looking good. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's any way I could put out the fire. I'd like to put out that fire. But all right, let's take a look around. Uh, hopefully I don't get attacked this time. I'd really like to be able to um, decide where I'm gonna build here. Yeah. So there was a. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there's a hut here. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. So I, this hut's probably gonna be in our in our base. Um, I'm thinking this is where I'm going to build. Uh, let me see. All right. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to build. It'd be good to have this, uh, this lake in here as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to build in here. I think I'm going to build in here. So let's see where the beginning of the wall would go. Oh my god, you, you're so freaking out of breath. By the way, you, you could get your athleticism up, so eventually you'll stop being out of breath as much. So let's take a look. So sanity... Strength, 19.7 um, and going down. It's because I'm hungry. All right, uh, weight, athleticism is 20.4. Um, I'm burnt. Ooh, I wonder how I deal with that. I'm going to have to take a look at that. My hydration's uh, not looking good. Um, you know what? I think that food's probably about ready. All right, so this food is still... Is this food not ready yet? Or? Um, oh, no, it's ready. Raw, fresh, raw, fresh, generic meat. No, it's not ready. Okay, I don't know how long this meat takes, but I figured during the night it would have been fine. Maybe we should just cook one. Yeah, let's just cook one for the food. Ugh. All right, uh, can we put it on there? You gotta hold it, right? There we go. I don't normally cook my meat because, you know, I usually just, I usually just eat it off the drying rack. But man, that's taking a long time because like I slept through the night. That's been up there for a while. Um, I'm not sure if it doesn't count when you're sleeping or what the deal is, but we just gotta wait for that to be done. I don't know if there's any way. To tell when it's done, or... Yeah, you know what? I can't pick it up until it's done. You'll know when it's done because you'll have the opportunity to pick it up. Alright, let's just go ahead and have a drink. Now, let's wait. Let's wait on the drink. There we go. Oh, come on. Cage, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm on fire as I eat the meat. That's hilarious. Alright, let's go ahead and drink some of this. Alright, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, so I'm thinking the wall will probably start... Maybe even in this area. This would probably be a, a decent place for the wall to start. So I think the wall will start over here somewhere. Okay? And then what it'll do is the wall will come up here. It's going to be a big wall, guys. It's going to be a really, really big wall. Uh, it's going to come up here. It's going to... Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no, it's going to come up here this way. Yep, it's going to come right across here. I want that I want that uh, water source inside. It's going to come up here. It's going to turn here. I'll have the gate right here. Probably have the gate right where I'm standing. Okay. And then it'll come over here and down and let's see where I'll end it. Somewhere over here. It's going to give me a lot of room to build. So I can build a lot of different stuff. Should be pretty fun. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to come down here. I don't want it to go over there. I think right here will be fine. And then right out of the side right here. Yes, that will be perfect. Okay. All right, so what we're going to need next... All right, so what we're going to need next is we're going to need logs. And we're going to need stone. And we're going to need a lot of stuff. Now, logs and stone can both be carried um, with the log sled. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a log sled. But we're not going to make a log sled. We're going to make a lot of log sleds. So if you hold down control, you should be able to put the log sled down without it, like, going off. And then you just kind of put down a bunch of them. Right? And that should be good enough for now. So we got a bunch of them. So we're going to need 100 and... 26 sticks. All right, guys, that's the third crash today. Um, I'm trying all kinds of things uh, to get this fixed, but I don't know what the heck's going on. Uh, I think it's OBS too. I don't really think it's the game. Um, so I went ahead and tried to up. I tried to update OBS. OBS is fully up to date. So I went ahead and up updated my video drivers, which, to be fair, I have not done in a while. I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually thinking I might actually make another video right away just because I want to know if I can record a whole video without crashing.
But honestly, I really don't have the time. So I'm, I don't know. Probably won't do that. Um, we need to go and we need to get the modern axe. I don't remember where it is. Even if I did remember where it is, it might have been moved. Don't really know. But I think what we're going to do now is we are going to take this um, wonderful, wonderful uh, log sled. And we're going to put some stone in it. All right. So there we go. Wait, what did that say R? Why did that say R? Oh, you go. Okay, yeah, you could switch. So you could put sticks in here or you could put stone. I'm going to go ahead and put stone in here. And we're going to start holding some stone. All right. Guys, let me know how excited you are for this game. You guys want to see? Uh, you guys want to see me pee my pants and uh, soil my britches? Uh, this is the game. It's going to be freaking awesome. I'm really excited about it. The only thing I'm a little down about is the um, the, the problems with the game crashing. But I will persevere because uh, you know I'm having a good time and that's all that really matters. So I will make it work. But anyway, guys, leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.